Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, the Skyrim Relic Hunter playthrough. We are, of course, in the front of the museum in solitude again. Nice, nice lovely day. And we're gonna kill a dragon. <laughs> I guess I can hear it. The same dragon that was probably fighting me before I started recording this. I was shooting a dragon from the balcony and then I kind of... I was like, I can't be bothered. Yeah, so spinning in circles like a madman. Where did it go? There it is. Should be a little bit wounded already, but maybe not. And yeah, barely. Dragon. Dark dragon, level 40 though. This is over. It's a bit stronger than <laughs> usual. Let's go over here. We can get the most archer support. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. <laughs> I'm not here to fight dragons. Dragons, am I right? Oh, I thought he was landing. Ow. Ow. Damn. It's kind of brutal. I do actually have a level up available. I'm just going to take that level up. I went to... I spammed potion making. I used every ingredient I have. She got my alchemy me up to 49. I, I cannot make good potions without going into alchemy, which is not surprising. I'm at, at this point where, like, do I bother? I don't know. I think my next character is going to go very heavy into this tree, so I think I'm just not going to bother. I'm doing an assassin. Makes sense, right? Poisons and all that. So I think we'll just stay out of it. But I did make a bunch of crappy health potions, at the very least. I don't think there's anything we need for that. Maybe there's something in heavy armor tree we want? Falling? That's stupid. No longer need to wear a helmet to benefit from the perks of wearing all heavy armor. We wear a helmet. Doesn't matter. Defiance also increases melee weapon damage for 3% for 10 seconds. Defiance. Does defiance. Deflect incoming attacks while wearing all heavy armor. When an enemy attacks you, you gain 50 points of armor for 10 seconds. So we get that and this. That's pretty good, I guess. Sprinting in combat increases the armor of allied people within 20 feet by 25% of your own armor. The armor of allied skeletons created by Bone Collector within 20 feet of your own armor lasts 20 seconds. Oh, that's cool. That would have been useful for my necromancer, except for, except for this isn't the heavy arm tree, which he had no armor at all. So I guess not. If you're wearing all heavy armor, you have a 20% chance to brace for impact when attacked by an enemy, becoming immune to stagger for four seconds. That sounds nice. I hate stagger. Coming fire, frost, and shock damage reduced by 0.02% 0, 0, 0 per point of armor wearing all heavy armor. That sounds pretty good, honestly. Wearing all heavy armor takes 75% less damage from attacks below 15% health. Yeah, good. Could be good. I'm gonna get out of the inferno. That should raise our defense against dragons and such. Or anything. Although I don't know what kind of. Sh I guess he's lightning. Oh, he's just not fast. Both those guards are poised broken. I want to go in there with my sword. Actually, wait, fuck. I just gotta be careful. Not to hit a guard. Okay, hang on. We're gonna do Elemental Fury. Assuming it works with this sword. Let's just use some of these bad potions. I make 23 health. That's not even as good as a minor health potion. It's quite quite terrible. Fish out? I feel like it did. Weapon is already changed. Oh. Very well. Can't see the dragon. <laughs> There we go. Oh, 
Hey! Get savaged. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Everybody crowns, some dragon's armor, or scales and bones and such. Dark dragon. Looks pretty cool. I'll be taking that soul, because I'll probably die at some point. Like a shitlord. Anyway, now that five minutes is gone, <laughs> let's carry on. That before we go. Okay, so I got a bit of money. I sold some of those potions I made and such. Came down here. So we got a little traveling money, but I found the book to the Bloodborn Helmet and the Tools of Kegrenak in uh, Orion's office. Apparently I missed those two. So we can locate Keening, Wraithguard, and Sunder. If you've played Morrowind, you know what the hell those are, because they're very important to the main quest. And the Bloodborne Helmet, which is also part of Morrowind stuff. So we're going to have a look for that. Bloodborne Helmet of Manny Marco. Ooh. Okay. I should happen across the Coven of Necromancers as you investigate see if the helm is in fact here. Okay. Orion has recovered a great deal concerning the fate of the tools of Kragnak, and it seems the relics were passed down to guardians within the houses of Telvanni and Halalu. I should find myself having dealings with either house, I should investigate. Also, you suggest one may have come by sea and been lost. That's very vague. <laughs> so one got shipwrecked, and the other one is in house Telvanni or Halalu? Ugh. Okay. Well, we'll have we'll have a look at some point. What was my plan today? It's the same day for me, but I'd, I've been doing stuff between so long, I forgot. Right. I was going to the planetarium. And I just left. <laughs> of course I did. I finished making, like, the replica set of this armor. Gave it to the museum. I gave them all the other stuff. I upgraded the armor as well, so it's got quite high armor value now. 151. And such. And as I thought it might, when I tried to put it on the shelf, it said you could no longer do that. Because once you upgrade an item, it goes, it's not the same item. So I wasn't actually able to put them there, but I was able to make the relics, or the copies, and put them there, thankfully. And I also discovered there is a great sort of ancient tongues, a battle axe of ancient tongues, axe of ancient tongues. I have no idea where you get them, by the way. So we only have the Sword of Ancient Tongues. And I would love to have a great Sword of Ancient Tongues. That thing was incredible, but it was one-handed, so I was like, eh. There's like a staff, a warhammer, hammer, a bow, a bow would be good. There's all kinds of stuff. It's good to have somewhere like this to come back to. Indeed. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, uh, I'll try and figure out how to find that, I guess. I don't know how to get to the planetarium, so I'm just gonna use the book to travel there and we can figure out how to get there out of there backwards, I guess. Planetarium, here we go. I've never seen this. Well, there's not much to see at the moment, I guess. <laughs> it's a work in progress. It's very dark here. Let's turn this bad boy on. And with this on, it's still dark. Let's see where the door to this place is. It looks like it's upwards. From where? Dragonborn Hall. Oh, okay. Oh! It was the place that said it was, like, rotted out. You couldn't go that way. Ah. I guess these... He's fixed it. Cool. Alright, well, I, I'm gonna guess this place is gonna look pretty cool, like, once it gets going. Hello? Hand me that spanner. Oh, uh, do you need something? I see you've been busy. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're back. Good timing. I could use your help again. I put some instructions on the bench over there. Even Fafnir could follow them, so. Oh, this is interesting. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> sure. Um. 
What? Does he mean this? Ah. 30 dwarven metal ingots, 5 centurion dynamo cores, 25 quartz stone. Metal, metal, metal. I have tons of metal, so we can get that easily. 5 dynamo cores, 25 quartz stone. Easy enough, I suppose. I actually have 5 centurion dynamo cores, thankfully. I had no idea I needed these, but I figured they were special and maybe I'd need them at some point. So I kept them, thankfully. Yeah. Okay. Well, annoyingly, we have to go find the stuff we need. Oh, the ingots chest is right here. That's handy. Alright, let's make the lights first. It's been four hours working on the planetarium. Okay. I think it's well lit enough for us not need that. Yes. Let's see what else we need here. Shielding plates. We're gonna have to go get quartz stone. I had like just enough to do the building last time. It's easy to get though. It's just I have to go all the way to White Run, pretty much. But with fast travel, of course, it's not a problem. There's other places where you can, of course that mining of stone, but it's, it's the one spot I know of, so whatever. Okay, we got some shielding plates. I do like the, the Skyrim, like, heart fire, hearth fire? Is it heart or hearth? I think it's hearth. Hearth? Whatever. <laughs> hearth fire. The, uh, a system it adds, basically, for, like, crafting stuff and whatnot. It's pretty cool. It's gotta be said. What, time is it? I what else we got? Cooling pipes. Five cogs, five former gyros. Fuck. You son of a bitch. Maybe we can go to Dumbasvathar and find those. Spatter. You buy some finding this stuff? I'm sure you've been to plenty of Dwemer ruins. They have scraps scattered all over the place. Most of it can melt down into Dwemer bronze ingots. Yeah, he's not wrong. Goodbye, That's then. why I have so many. Okay. Well, let me put this away then. Ugh. That's annoying. <laughs> we have to go to a Dwemer ruin. Yay. Okay, 25 stone. Some cogs. And some something. I've already forgotten what the other thing was. Let me just double check before I leave. Cogs and gyros. Five Dwemer gyros. I feel like that's going to be hard to find. Because they're not. They're not, you know. Centurion gyros. They're just not active gyros. I don't know how active. Or. Like. How much you find those? Probably a lot. Okay. So that's on the to-do list, I suppose, which is quite, you know, quite a thing. I can get the cord stone pretty easily. I swear to God, if there's another dragon attack, it would be so annoying. It was just raining. I pressed menu and then the rain stopped. That's weird. Anyway. Battleborn Farm. This is where the quarry stone hangs out. It's where it lives. Where it lurks. Somewhere behind Battleborn Farm. There it is. It's like this little patch of like Chiseled stone. This is a stone quarry. It's not super obvious. You do get it fairly fast. I don't feel like I need to skip this, really. I won't remember to do it anyway. Yes. 
But yeah, we'll get this. We'll go to the uh You are not even sweating. Other thing. You are good at this. We've already got twelve. We need twenty five. Something like that. I guess we'll go Dooms with Dooms with our Actually, that other player home. We did like the Tower of something. We could go there. It's not in Solstheim. Perhaps. Let's, I don't know if that's enough. Is it on me? 44. Oh shit, I got a lot more than I thought it would. Never seen the skies like that. I guess every hit is giving us four, maybe. Ruins of Rakund, or no, Karagas' Tower, that's the one. That was the player home, but it was like a Dwemer Ruin as well. Let's go look in there. This is from the mod, so, you know, maybe, maybe it has what we need. Probably not, but I can hear Uh, it's pretty empty so far. Not what I was hoping for. Oh yeah, we never tried this thing, did we? I do want to try it at least once. Hopefully I remember that. Cause I do wanna I wanna transmute something into something else. Let's just see how it works really. Oh <gasps> one dwemer gyro, cool. Okay. A whole lot else, it seems. Eh, that was a long shot, but oh well. I got one, I guess. <laughs> one is better than zero, right? That's what they tell me. Unless it's like you have one disease instead of zero. Oof, let's not go that way. I'm not going back to the maze. You can't make me. That maze was fucking hell. Like, <laughs> I did not enjoy that ma maze. We're supposed to be going upwards. Like, I thought it was cool. But let's be honest, it's a maze and it's... It's real annoying. <laughs> it's, it's hard to have fun navigating a maze. Alright, I think our best bet is Dooms with our annoyingly. And that might not even have what I'm looking for, really. But it also Careful might. Careful there, friend. Alright, so... It's, it, I mean, it's a safe Dwarven Ruin to go in at the very least, you know? I don't have to risk my damn life. Captain Gyalin does the business around here. I'm just a ship's mate. I wonder who I talked to you about the, uh... Ready to go. Those of Kagranak. Obviously... The Telvanni Tower, or whatever. I don't even remember where it is. Somewhere in Solstein. And the Halalu, that's a, no, it's not Halalu, is it? I say it's a Halalu colony, but that's Redoran. Huh. Is there any House Halalu people? Maybe it's only in the hands of the Telvani. We'll never know. Alright, please have what I need. We need five cogs. We need five, four now, gyros. At least there is stuff here. I'm just worried it's not the right stuff. Sort of thorough. 
save myself trouble in the long run, you know? There's nothing in here, man. This is not what I wanted to see. Not a goddamn item at all. Oh no! <laughs> Bamboozled. Alright, maybe this first area is no good. The factory part probably has something. How do I get back in there? Straight ahead. Yeah, here we go. I feel like this would have cogs and stuff. It must. It must do. Any uh, cogs? No. In Cyrodiil, we respect each other's personal space. Yeah, well, in Skyrim, we invade each other's personal space. What do you think of that? I'm sure he doesn't like that. Tough cookies, I say. Just backwards. I believe so. This looks like the entrance hall again. Good burns. Right, so far, no good. This is disappointing. I don't want to have to go into an actual dwarven ruin, man. Ugh. Dwarven ruins are usually full of Falmer. I hate Falmer. Nobody likes Falmer. Disgusting. Uh, what's the other way? Oh, just leaves in a circle. Of course. Am I really going all the way balls deep in this place just to get nothing? Is this what's happening right now? I feel like this is what's happening right now. For a dwarven ruin, there's not a lot of dwarven stuff flying around here. I don't know if it's because it despawned or because it just doesn't have any. Oh. What if I do? Or bowl. Some vigor mortis? Sure. May I be of assistance? Christ, you scared me. Yes. Can I have your parts? You want to play triple triad? I'm actually curious. May I be of assistance? <laughs> Let's fucking play triple triad with this robot. Okay, there's no rules. Your rules apply. We get one card if we lose, or one card if we win. I'm okay with that. Uh, sure. I'll bet. 300 gold. We can beat the shit out of this guy, right? This robot bitch. So we get something for the top right. Blood Dragon. This bottom left. Burnt Spriggan. Uh, this is pretty well rounded. Something for the top left. Something's high numbers in the bottom, in the top, right, in the right side. That I can put in the top right, or left rather. There's a five and a six. It's not terrible. Alright. And. I'll take the Ash Guardian for the middle. Oh, that was five. What does he have? Oh shit, we don't know. Spooky. Thanks. Okay. We'll start by putting Burt Spriggan in the bottom left. Be 
that. This card game is super cool. My light. Oh, it does. It's like it seems brighter than normal. Should I keep it on? Feels like it's actually easier to see with it on. Except for the brightness right here, but that's fine. Uh. Ooh. Okay. Do I have anything good for the bottom right? This dragon's pretty good. You have to beat a six on the bottom for that, which I feel is pretty high. Judging by the rarity of his cards, he's, he doesn't have a chance. Unless I fuck this up hard. I think I could take this with the Death Lord from the side. I'll take it probably from this side. Oh, from the top. That makes it easy for me to get it back, though. I'll do this. And then this one has a pretty high number on the top. Boom. Easy game. Take one of your opponent's cards. I will take... Hmm. Glowing spider? I don't have a glowing spider. Alright! Makes dumb with R. You failed! I beat a robot at chess, basically. Does that make me a superhuman? Incredible. Not quite the same, is it? <laughs> I just had better cards than he did. All right. I like how it just adds that option into most NPCs. Even when they don't fit. But I'm okay with it. Gives me more opponents. There's nothing here. Is there a quick way out of here? I don't think there is. What was that? And num They're not gonna make me walk all the way out of here, are they? God, we're already 30 minutes in almost. How many even done any they get? Oh? Oh, come on. You had one chance to give me something. My lever? Maybe, maybe there'll be something here. Please. This is the factory part, right? There must be some use useful shit here somewhere. Ah! I think we have to go to a proper, proper place. Is just refusing to give me what I want. Which is most unfortunate. I guess we're leaving. Well, I got back to the beginning pretty fast. Well, it was worth a shot, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna put that on hold then. I don't really want to go delving into a ruin right now. One of these ruins, at least. Maybe next time. We can do something else. We still have tons of tools of the explorer to find. Oh, that reminds me. While I was turning in my relics, I made a lot of those things with the fragments that we've been collecting over time. And it leveled up my archaeology skill through the roof. So we're going to go back to the archaeology guild house and spend those points. I should have a, a few waiting for us. And some of those are pretty good. But 
yeah, apparently you get you get points pretty quickly for uh, just crafting crafting the items the museum wants with those relic pieces that you've been finding in ruins the whole time. Also, a few more like opened up as I crafted, which is kind of cool. Because the list only had like six things on it, and then it opened up to like fifteen. I was like, oh. There'd be a boat down there. I'm not gonna go explore it, but cool. Let's get out of Soul Slide. Get while the getting's good. Give me a mini map. Or not mini map. Any map, <laughs> I should call it. Give me an any map. Alright. The music has come back. Huzzah. Alright, to the guild house quickly. I really want to continue the planetarium, but I just yes. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Sucks. I mean, we got to do it eventually. Maybe we kill, can do, kill two birds with one stone if we're lucky. Job for you. Shoot. What can I help you with? That's good. Sounds good. I'll be back in a few days. That's grand. I'll send everyone out. Also, do you sell anything I need? I've got some things you'll never find anywhere else. I mean, you do sell fragments. I'll take them. I was kind of hoping she would sell oh, painting. I'll take that too. Do I have anything to sell you? Probably not. I have a privateer sword for some reason. I guess I forgot to add to my inventory. Ebony crown. Unless I got a new one. It's possible. I'll probably get that from the dragon. Why do I hear rats? Get out of my way. Like that? Oh. You're a rat? Wow. Kind of. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is where all the things go. Or those tools. You know, I'll happily put any of these in there. Sextants. Now it's codex. Sans torch. What is Sans torch? We should go looking for Sans torch. Geese beacon. Because pickaxe. Okay, so there is a few that we haven't got. There isn't actually as many as I thought. That's good. Also, there's another case, of course. I have that. Hello. I have a job for you. Can't click it, though. Quit freaking out on the stairs. Give me a seizure. Mm-hmm. All right then. Everybody to work. You lazy bums. All right. So, how many points do I have? I wonder. It's fifty percent increased bash damage with torches and twenty-five percent increased damage with pickaxes. That's a stupid perk. That's the top tree of this. These give carry weight, so I mean that's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, let's see what the other ones are. Experience to rank one. In two additional fragments of dig sites with a 25% chance of an extra keystone. So we can't really see what they do until we get them. What's this? Merchants pay higher price for your wares. I'll take that. Or your guild quartermaster has more gold for buying a larger inventory. Okay. Uh, I guess I only had two points. I thought I got a lot more than that. That's still pretty good, though. I'm happy with that. 
So we'll race all choice in archaeology perks and refund the points to you. There's no cost for doing this. Would you like to visit your points? No. Why would not? Let's have a look at her inventory, I guess. Hello. I hear you have bigger That's inventory. Do you, though? Maybe it doesn't... Does she have more? It looks similar. Take your pies. <laughs> Why not? Take that as well. Yeah. Good luck out there. Very well. Is there anything else we haven't made? I haven't made this, this, or this yet. I take a lot of fragments. As long as we're sending our people out. We have 69 Nordic fragments. Nice. As long as we're sending them out regularly and going out ourselves, I guess we'll get what we're looking for. Eventually. Get away from me, you trash panda. I'm gonna go put this painting up here before I forget. And I guess we'll go... Maybe we'll go look for the torch. Sans torch. I don't really use torches. But I could give it to, like, whoever's carrying a torch for me. I think Lucian. Could be cool. Wow. It's a stump. Incredible. Careful. Hang on. Nothing? Very well. All right. Ask someone about Lalette. Uh, no. I don't think we're going to do any more like little side quests, really. I can help Curus. I've made a way to scare himself some by the way of a Telvani wizard murderer. I should be cautious and watchful if I have any dealings with any Telvani. I'll have to look up where these things are, really. But for now... Uh, where is it? Tools of the Trade. There's still quite a few things we need to find. And find we will. Maybe one of them isn't a Dwarven Ruin. I guess that would be handy, wouldn't it? I can't really... S can't really tell for some of them. What is this? <laughs> Who knows? So Maurus's Codex, we have to open up by going to all the, sh the three shrines around the world. I'll do that later. I'm curious what Kriana's Quill does. Go to shooter point and go from there. I want to see what the sand storage does the most, but I mean, a quill. What the hell's a quill do for you? I know quills are for writing, obviously. I'm an idiot, but like. <laughs> well. Yeah, I don't know. What does it do gameplay wise? It's the real question. So, Lucien is a horse now? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had horse. Oh yeah, Inigo doesn't have a horse, does he? Oh, that's shady. Um, guys, <laughs> I thought there was a dragon there, just laying there. It's very smoky. What the fuck? Oh my god, he's a beast. Alright, let's pop a few potions here. Bring him down! Dragon shit lord! More. Yeah. 
God, they're so much easier to fight when they land. That's nothing particularly Dragons exciting. What is this chest reset? No. Pretty sure it's where we go. Where we got the stone hands. Let's ride. I should pretend Inigo has a horse. I guess. <laughs> okay, so we need to go east. Just, just east. Uh, that's west. And good luck going east. There's a mountain in the way. Did I ever install the first person? I didn't. Hmm. I think it, I think I won't do that. I won't risk installing any more mods, breaking my game. Not at the very end. That would be a disaster. What is that? There's like a glowy orange thing over there. Demo. Nice. This little view we got there. It's nice to just stop and take in the view every now and then. Look at the sky. Make a cool screenshot. Uh, I couldn't remember what screenshot button is. It's print screen! Which is annoying, but it should be F12. But something I did changed it from F12. This is a Dwemer ruin. Well, guess what? I guess we're doing a Dwemer ruin after all. I can't say I'm sad, because I need to find the shit anyway. I can get two pieces at once. That sounds pretty good. Doesn't look like I can go in there, though. Oh, press the wrong button. Give me your salt. Of course, Alexis key doesn't work. Useless garbage. Why can't I put Alexis key in that damn chest so I can stop giving me the option? <laughs> that cabinet. I mean, I guess I probably could. Didn't have a replica already in there. Which I assume I do. Some of those things I don't remember making a replica of. But apparently I did. Come on, for God's sakes. There we go. Close up peerless sneaking. 40% more effective. That's really good, actually. 40% <laughs> is a lot. Let me just make sure I'm wearing my necklace. I'm not. Damn it. 20% chance to loot additional magic item. And then we have the Ring of Bounty, which is 8. So we have 28% chance to get a special item. Magic item drop. I love, like, magic finds, basically. That's what it's called in Diablo. I like being able to get more loot. Should I just snipe this person? Probably not. I have no doubt they're a bandit of some kind or something. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and then murder them if they're not. Right. Well. You chose this life. Ah, the word bandits. I think I feel better about my decision. Oh, what am I doing? Ah! Ooh. <laughs> I thought he was actually kidding me. I was like, wait a second. Where's me friends? I fought worse than you. Somehow, I don't think that's true. Work. Man, because worse than me would have taken off more than your head. Instantly. They don't even trigger combat music. That's how weak the game thinks they are. I can Which I mean, they are level 10, to be fair. <laughs> so, fair enough. Alright, let's, let's not. I'll take a rabbit haunch. Anything else? 
I need to get out of this cold. Steel Seeker is could be useful. Ini goes here. Where's the others? Well, let's go inside Kelvathar. If they don't spawn in here, well, then I'll go outside and fast travel here and force them to come to me. Uh, Lucy is not here. Oh, go back to sleep. Damn it, he's on to us. So apparently I can't use Elemental Fury with this sword because it's already enchanted. I kind of hate that. I understand, but I kind of hate it at the same time. You hear that? Fight, coward! Nice. All right, well, let's go get Lucy in. So my character is very fatigued, but I think we'll wait to deal with that later. There he is. Nice of you to join us. You're late than ever, I guess. All right, we're all here. Fantastic. Keep an eye out for stuff that we need. Gyro? Gyro. Two of three gyro. Two of five gyros, rather. And zero cogs. Oh, yeah. I remember this. I love that. How do you like your skeever? Well done. I fucking hope so. Because that's the only option we have. Did I close my game? In between? Oops. FOV 85. Oh, okay. I just all tapped. I couldn't remember if I closed my game in between sessions or not. Ooh, Lucy ran through. That looks fancy. That's all looks. Ow! Get an Imperial Soldier Heroic Helmet. I somehow knocked it off his head. These guys are get they got pretty decent loot. Triple Tried Cart back loot. Or Frost Troll Reekling Luna Moth Storm Atronach. Nice. Oh, sweet roll. Sweet. Roll. Do you have a cog? No. <laughs> Gotta watch what, what I say. Specific, uh, suspiciously close to the word cock. Do you have a cock, anyone? We're all cockless. You have on you. Okay. Captain's Cutlass. Very fancy. Damn. Everything's like almost 500 gold worth. Some decent stuff. Ring of Plunder. What's that do? 5% chance to loot an additional magic item for people you kill. Really? Also, a meteorite. Neat. I needed that. Okay, well, I have a necklace and a... Oh, I already have 8%. Okay. Never mind. I didn't realize the other thing was a ring. Not as exciting, then. Okay, what else we got? Anything cool? It's a circle. Okay, look over here. We could sleep on these stone beds, but I'm not gonna. <gasps> One cog. We're already there. We're so close. Not really that close. Is that wheat? Yes. I'm growing wheat in like blue mountain flowers in the back of the, the greenhouse, of course. I hit that up as well. Started growing more wheat. We got a severe lack of wheat. 
I could pick this. I think we're just gonna go the normal way first. I need stuff anyway. Ow, I pressed the wrong button. I thought I changed the thing from roll to like sidestep. Maybe I only did that in uh Ender all. TK dodge. I would prefer the sidestep. Step dodge. Let's see if that works. I think you might need the animation mod for that to work. FNIS or whatever it's called. Alright. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to work. Fair enough. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, it looks fine. I have no problem dodging like that. It's just. I do kind of like the non rolly version better. Because who the hell would be rolling in heavy armor like that? <laughs> But at the same time, you know, I don't mind. I play a lot of Elden Ring, and literally that's what you do, so. I'm not complaining. I didn't want that iron ore. I found a cog, though. And a book. Birds were very clever, whoever they were. The book I needed. I don't know how you made it this far, but you'll go no farther. I smell panic, but... Ah! Sword. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Okay. And he had Aegis Bait on him. He's just sitting there cooking while we're fight fighting. What the hell? Odd. Rob key. Okay. Come on, give me more cogs. Is that key to go to this by chance? No. Ah, excuse me. About here. No. But I can pick this. This won't be as hard as a master lock. Look at that. Second try. Where is this? Where am I? This beginning? It is. Shortcuts. Nice. Is that a door? Absolutely. Hello. Ooh. Is that cool? Bit too close. Just yikes. Mm, I'm almost encumbered. I'm gonna have to give some stuff to some other dudes. Which is okay. Steel plate helmet is worth 300. It's pretty good. Considering. What do you need? Oh, you know what I need. All right, here you go. I would never red eyes. I didn't really notice. Is he a Daedra? Oh, we need an Elven Greatsword. Fine by me! Okay, let's take this and this and this. Ranger armor. There we go. Hey, he has red eyes. I definitely did not realize that. He's evil! Or he's a dark elf. Which means he's evil. <laughs> uh. Well, let's see. Oh! Oh! Well, he found the sweet spot a lot sooner than I thought I would. I want the treasure. I can see it. 
They're taunting me with it, which makes me want to do the lock. Yes. 31 gold, some ingots, some gold. The only Dwemer who didn't disappear was Yagram Bagan, who wasn't on Nern at the time. Divines know where he is nowadays. I remember him. He was in the... I almost said Masturbatorium. <laughs> no. And not Crematorium either. What the hell is... Corpusarium. That's the one. It was in the Masturbatorium. Maybe, I mean, been a lot of time down there. The cog. Nice. Yeah, he's part of the Morrowind. You go in the Corpusarium? I remember that. Ooh. Emerald Gemstone Bow. Fancy. I've got most of the cogs I need, it looks like. I think I need, like, one more. One more cog four, one more driver three. So we need two more gyros, one more cog. Seems doable to me. Ah. Alright. Save. And forwards. I don't know how long this dungeon's been. Apparently there's another door, and I'm about at an hour. So I think we might stop before we get there. So I'm kind of worried I'd miss something. Because there was a staircase up here, outside that way. This keeps going. Apparently the right way, so I want to see what's up there. It might just be a way around this door. Or something. Take the sack to flower. Ah, huh. that would have been fun. Too bad I didn't realize that until after I killed him. Ah. Oh, I am going to pick this lock. Even though I can go around it. So basically, this is how you sneak in without. If you don't want to fight all the bandits and whatnot. You come in here, you pick this lock, and then you'd fire those ballistas at them while you're sneaking. Kinda cool. Nice little alternate way to do the quest or whatever. I'm pretty sure you come here for something. Like, the Elaine Dufont guy is part of a quest or something. I don't quite remember. Ah. But it does vaguely ring a bell. Doesn't matter now, though, does it? He is dead, dead. What was that? <laughs> Something freaking out. Alrighty. Deeper we must go. That thing's alive. Well, it's active. No robot is ever alive. Really? I can't wait to the point in human society where we start thinking robots are alive. You get the Star Trek dilemma. Is this android real? Is he a real person? I won't be alive to see it. Former cog. Nice! Alright, we got all the cogs. I see two gyros. Just two! Still have, we still have a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. Nice, perfect. Dwemer cup. That's pretty good. Created potions are fifteen percent more powerful. An alchemy helmet. You know what? I'll keep it. I broke down my necklace or whatever I had earlier ages ago. Just for disenchanting. To get the de disenchanting experience. I definitely... Considering how shit my potions are, I can certainly use it. 
Well, that doesn't trigger all my followers. <laughs> Spitting blood of death. I don't fancy the chance of getting through it. Ah! What do you got? Ow. Nice one. They're not dropping what I need, though. They are dropping. That's what counts. Sneaky little treasure chest. I see you. Senpai has noticed you. Those do 40% more damage. That's not a bad potion, honestly. Those kind of potions I almost never use. That'd be great in a dragon fight, actually. Because most of it is done through bow. Making it less tedious would be great. Killing it with these lockpicks. It's not particularly spicy, but that's fine. <gasps> oh, sweet. Let me just double check I have enough cogs. I do indeed. You know what? Just to be safe, <laughs> I'm going to take all of them. <laughs> Lucia, how can I assist? Why do you carry my cog? <clears throat> Go ahead. Load me up. Oh, and then he follows up with that? Come on. Didn't have to make it weird, man. I made it weird. Okay. I've got your back. So can we train you? Greetings. I just trained him not too long ago, but he's still level ten. I don't know how to get him to stop being level ten. Excellent. What shall we work on this time? Uh, let's just show you how to take a hit. This sounds painful, but go on. <laughs> Is this really necessary? Yes. If you have to ask, I've got your back. then you know. Alright. Oh, shit. Just got the last gyro. Sick. Good, now we just need whatever we came here for. The thing? <laughs> What's it called? Feather? Quill. Special quill. Damn it. Okay, what's in the box? Cool, I guess. Water cloak. Steel war pick. Alright, since I had to work for that war pick, I'll take it. <laughs> I don't want it, but I'll take it. Well, it makes me feel good to know that I got what I needed. Extra gyro, even. Just in case they need more, I'm going to collect what I need. And then some. Ow. Not. Come bully. Go bully. You bastards. The gear. Take it. The virulence. Two more gears. <laughs> Damn. All right. Deep market. This is where I'm going to have to end, I'm afraid. Unless it's, like, super close. That's not that far. You know, we'll, we'll have a little longer episode today. Oh, shit. Back up, boys. That shit's getting choppy. Oh, fuck, it's coming back. No, no, no. <laughs> Let me save. I thought it was going to go, like, back into the ground. I was wrong. Jesus. Hopefully we can get through this without too long. I don't want it to be, like, an hour and a half episode. Nothing particularly good in there. Oh, good. Fucking Falmer. I've been poisoned. Son of a bitch. Oh, 
<laughs> Bye! You son of a bitch. Take your ears and your mushies. Damn it. The only thing I really need from them is just any ingredients they carry. Otherwise, eh. Some leather. Some ears. <laughs> nice. Some free experience in the form of rats. Never turned down killing rats. Is there anyone else? This is a pretty cool area. The Deep Market. Can't imagine they're selling a lot nowadays. What am I in combat with? Supposedly something like right here. Oh, I found that one. Chop. Imp stool. Why do imps need stools? They can fly. I'm not gonna sleep on a dirty farmer hay bed. Yuck. I can only imagine how that smells. Ooh. This was a really cool mod. The glowing eggs. I am here for you. Yes, you are. What's next? A bit too here for me, one might say. <laughs> You're in my way. Corpse chitin. Really. What is with this game and stepping on things and making you like freak out? This game just loves that shit. The physics system in in the Elder Scrolls games is just it's nuts. It really is. To the point where you get hurt by like stepping on a bone and it just like flies off and hits you in the face of them now. Weapons and armor can be improved 25% better. Bravo. Oh, that's quite useful. I can make use of that right away, pretty much. Get a bit more stats on my gear. Which is pretty cool. Oh, hello. Carlin says his, sends his regards. At least this place has music. I have to add my own. I don't know what that did. But we're doing it. How close are we? We're about halfway, it seems. All right. Hmm. What do we have here? So what is attacking us? Oh, of course. He's still level... He's still level 10. What do you do in Lucian? Could be like level 42 by now. Like the rest of us. He'd be a lot better if he was. But oh well. There should be like a dig spot in here somewhere, but I haven't seen it yet. Alright, looks like a trap. That's gonna fire that ballista shot at us. <laughs> I don't want don't want that. We do without. Oh. Dirty this world. What a what a thing to say to something. God, it's so easy to get staggered in this. It's crazy. We are all dead. Solid dormer metal, plate metal. I'm not taking any of that. What's this? 
It's a... Some sort of gem. Ooh. I'll take it. I like gems. I like gems. Gems are very cool. You know what I like better than gems? Quills. Oh god. I forgot these existed. I thought I wasn't sure if I had installed this mod or not because I hadn't seen one. These were all over my Necromancer playthrough when I was going through these. But I have... I don't remember seeing many of them in this playthrough. But I guess they do exist. What if he wants a small Dwemer lever? I'm gonna take... A couple Dwemer levers. Well, then I know where to go, I guess. Oh, there's a button puzzle. Price is going on. Every door, hey. You would be easier to hold Right, I'm gonna do this. I'll shoot this prick. Out of the way. Oh. You have a death. Shadow Master, huh? If you could see yourself, you would kill yourself. That is dark, Ego. <laughs> Jesus. What the literal hell? He you just say that for? Oh, not that one. Sorry. <laughs> what about this one? That'd be one of them. What is that noise? It looks like the cogs are stuck. Have the vice spikes? Cool. Let's have a save. I feel like there's going to be a Centurion fight or something. Yeah, the cogs are stuck. I don't technically have to go any further than here. But it'd be kind of weird not to, right? I think it'd be dumb to, like, only partially explore. Should have read what that did. What's it do? Is it something I equip? JK. Where is it? Search all. Crayola's Quill. <laughs> Where are you? Damage 2. Will detect life and death while equipped, though not automatons. Right. Oh, they have a journal as well. And a bunch of fragments. Nice. All right, we'll have a look at the journal. I doubt it has an audio book. <sighs> you know what? Eh. <laughs> Fuck reading. So it's a Detect Life Quill, which doesn't really help me because I have to have two hands on my sword. I want to see it work, though. Also, apparently it's a weapon, so it's odd. Not where I was thinking. I don't see any tech life going on here. It only does two damage, but it has a very fast attack speed. Thanks, I hate it. You can keep your stupid quill. Ah. 
bones stuck in the gears. I heard. Or I heard chorus. Oh, they actually locked their shit. What the heck? Unexpected. Damn it. There it is. Arming sword. Okay. Ebony bow. Hey. And a staff of crushing darkness. As you do. <laughs> Sorry. With a name like that, could you not strike fear into your enemies? <sighs> you know what? I'm not going to take their stuff. I know they're worth money. I just can't be bothered. Where's the other part? Is oh, the chorus sounds are coming from in there. Right. Well, I guess we should help them die, huh? Hello. Ow. Try to be careful. I don't know how strong they are. <laughs> Seems like they're not too bad. They could poison me. Dude, he split his head open. That's awesome. I hadn't really seen them get hit with the, like, kill thing. I'm not gonna harvest all that. Super some muffling, though. Damn it. I have to go into the inventory thing and do the thing anyways. Well, then I might as well go grab that stuff. I'm gonna have to give my follower shit anyhow. I was trying to avoid it. The speed up time. Or save time, rather. Ah. You bastard. <laughs> Lockpicking, everyone. Everyone's favorite thing. I actually do enjoy the lockpicking. Just. I don't know. Pain in the ass. Create a potion of 22% more powerful. Ooh. That's cool. Now I can speak to me. Put on the helmet and the hat necklace. And my exchange. potions will be less shit. That's excite. And take all of these things from me. I don't want them. I'll put that on. For sake. Just had to ruin it. Good enough though, I can carry. I can move. We're at an hour 18, fuck's sake. I could just end it and start the episode. I'm gonna start in here anyway, probably. I don't know. I don't <laughs> I just wanna be done with here. And then start the next one somewhere else. Or demons. Alright. This is pretty clearly stuck still. Alright. Did I lose that? No. A glass sword in it. There is no need to push. I think it'll work now. This one's still jammed. Maybe something in the water? Ah. Okay. Damn it. So this side has one still stuck. I'm happy we came here. 
I managed to get everything I needed. It's pretty good. You do know where you're going, don't you? No. Where's the last thing? Is there more in the water? Am I blind? Doesn't look like it. I'll just push the button anyway. Eh. Somewhere there's a set of gears that are stuck. In my oh, they're right in front of me. I see them. Worry not. Oh, thank God, that annoying ground is gone away. Oh dear. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Shoot it. Guys? I'll let you tank it while I shoot from bed. From the rear. I leave from the rear. Like a true captain. Ambush predator active. I don't even know what that means. I must have some perk that I'm not aware of. Is it allowing me to stealth? Am I getting stealth hits? I don't know. Yeah, well. I want loot. The core, very good. Liver, I guess. Never have enough of those. Unless unless we don't need any of them. And then we can have too many of those. I think we're near the end. I have a feeling. Feeling in my balls. That this is going to wrap back around to the beginning. Lo and behold. I think it only got and done it. What the hell's going on here? What are you doing? Stop this. Place by storm. Yes. What the hell was he doing? He's just like hitting the wall or something. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it is literally going to be an hour and a half episode. Could have broken it up into two. Shit. Oh well. I'll be rendering it while I sleep anyway. It doesn't really matter. I can record item. Oh dear. How much more is there? Wait, <laughs> I thought I was at the end, which is why I keep going. Maybe I need that. Therium shard. Guild armor of famine. Hmm. That's worth some money, at the very least. Yeah, if it, if it if they put something else on the menu that they need to build and it needs to or stuff, I'll just come right back here. And immediately just have oh. All of it. This is where I came from, right? Yeah. So this leads out. So there's more to this place, but we don't have the item. Wait, this leads down. Oh, no it doesn't. Why does the elevator animation go downwards? No idea. Well, oh. There we go. We're back outside. Ah. Breathing that fresh, cold, cold air. Just wait. Let's face that way. Cool backdrop. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, there we go. We got the quill. We got the stuff. Next time, we'll start off with the planetarium nonsense. We'll get that going. And, uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. So thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.